Hello, friends. Uh, so today we have with us uh, Colonel Pratap Nair, a very accomplished uh, Armored Corps officer. Uh, he is going to narrate to us a very interesting anecdote named the Mountain Miracle. Well, over to you, Colonel Pratap. Can you tell us yeah. what that Mountain Miracle is all about? Hi, thanks, Anil. Thanks for giving me this opportunity to narrate this anecdote, which I have narrated so many times in so many places. Uh, this actually happened in uh, 1994. Okay. You know, my regiment was located in Jammu. So we were all packed away from Jammu and sent to Rajori first. Okay. We were there in Rajori for a month and then they told us to go to a place called Buddal Kandi. I don't know if you have ever heard of it. Yeah. You know, the ridge line of Anantnag Shopia. And oh, I the, see. Yeah, Anant, and below is the Ans River. And then right. there was a one more ridge line, that is the Buddal Kandiwala ridge line. And uh, so we were taken there and you know, your typical armored uh, unit lands up there and we were told, <laughs> okay, go straight up and take positions. You have to set up three bases. I had 90 guys with me. So, uh, you know, my guys were totally foxed because normally in any infantry battalion, you have, you know, a lot of experienced JCOs, you know, teaching you, you know, what to do and how to set up camp and other right. things. In our case, we had nobody because, you know, Armored Corps, we knew every, only about tanks and setting up right. and operating in tank Absolutely. area. And now yeah. we are on top of a mountain. So, me and my, so, you know, squadron guys, 90 guys, we started walking up the hill. We walked about 18 kilometers, reached oh. a location I called Nanga you know. And Nanga, because we, Nanga Thob, Nanga Thob means naked top. Naked top, so, right, right. Yeah, right, right. it is a, you know, it's a uh, beautiful meadow right on top of the hill. If you look oh. straight ac across the valley, you can see Anantnag Shopia, it is across. It's oh, at I the see. Same height. Yeah. Only the Ans River is below us. Okay. And right below us was Buddal and on the left was Kot Ranka, which is the district headquarter there. Okay. So I landed up there, and because you know, whatever you can carry, so you can't carry tentage, you're carrying just your equipment. We landed up there, and it was bitterly cold. Oh. And you know, we only shelter we found there was a dhok. You know, I don't know oh, if you yeah. know that dhok. Dhok yeah. is where the local bakarwals, you know, they put their sheep inside. Correct. So it's a, a very, you know. Temporary structure. Temporary structure and it is full of goat shit, you know. It's yeah. Sheep <laughs> has been inside for ages, you know. So one inch, one foot layer thick of goat <laughs> shit is there and full of worms and insects and we oh are sleeping inside. Okay. There was no other shelter. We didn't have tent right. page or anything. So we went there, set up camp, and slowly, you know, on mules and all, you know, certain amount of tentage came up and we set up camp and we settled down. And the daily routine was every morning we would go out for patrolling, okay. you know, and uh, go around those areas. I had 200 square kilometers to look after. Oh my God. And in the evening, every evening we used to lay an ambush, you know, because this was our job was to prevent, you know, the movement of terrorists coming from the, you know, Pakistan side yeah. crossing over this area yeah. going into Anantnag Shopia. That was right, the, right. our job to hold uh, this line. So right, right. That was my job. Right. So when we were there, there's nothing else to do except morning uh, patrolling, evening ambush. That was the daily routine. So what used to happen, we used to get very bored there, you know, same 30 guys, their faces, how much you can talk to them. So what we used to do in our base, uh, any guy crossing by, you know, any Bakarwal with his, you know, goats or any villager passing by, catch hold of him. Take him, sit down, give him a cup of tea or coffee and start discussing things, his family and this, right. you know, give him some akrot and all and, you know, gapshap and you had to pass time. Yeah. So, there used to be an old man who used to come very regularly to my camp. Very old and, you know, he had a cute spondylitis. You know, he was bent over totally. And, when, uh, you know, those old people, you can't tell their age. You know, they are yeah, so yeah. fragile and old, you know. And every day he will come and say 
saab mere gale ke liye na kuch karo can you do something i have acute pain i said yeah i said you have acute spondylitis you go down to kotranka and there you get yourself treated you know so he says nahi nahi at my age he says in our community if you are a young man or a boy they will take you down you know if you are sick if you are a woman or an old man you die here there's oh, no treatment oh. that was the accepted thing right. and you know what the treatment there was there was a peer baba close by so right. in the peer baba you go and tell the problem the peer baba will write in farsi you know a sort of a mantra roll up that paper and give it to you and you ate it that oh was God. the treatment. that was the treatment <laughs> Oh these people God. these people had no never seen a injection a tablet nothing no oh. so you know all this was going on so this old man used to come every day to our camp we used to give him tea and biscuits and say you know sit and gossip so you know and he used to keep troubling me you know so aap kuch karo kuch karo you know so one day i said i called the nursing assistant i said you bring your bag here i have i was doing bsc zoology before i joined the nda <laughs> so i opened the bag so I started looking through it. I found a neurobiom ka injection. I don't know if you people know what neurobiom. Yeah, yeah, neuro neurobiom. Yeah, it's a B complex. Basically, B complex. B complex. Yeah. So I filled up the syringe and took out this old man. I said it can't do any harm to him. It can do some. Yeah, correct. Next day, this old man came. He was okay. <laughs> His spondylitis had disappeared. His neck was okay. <laughs> you know that is the miracle of you know a person who has never been treated in his life as something simple as neurobiom made him okay. Yeah. And he was so happy. He went and announced in that entire area that you know a doctor sahab has come. Either a major sahab came in post pe doctor. Doctor. So next day onwards there was a sick report. You know, fifteen, twenty people initially. Then forty, fifty used to come. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and it used to be a very big scare to us also. You know, suddenly so many people. You know, camp. Yeah. Could be a security threat. Yeah. Security, could be a security threat. Also, you never know. Some guy come to us. You know, yeah. women, children, old, mostly women and children and old people were coming and sitting. So you know, whatever little knowledge I had, I started dishing out. I had, you know. Desprin and Dependol and all these normal OTC medicines. Yeah. So I started giving it, and the cures were miraculous. You know, because these people had never eaten medicine. No medicines. idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No so exposure. So even ha, ah, the effect was miraculous. You know, so many people ah. got cured, and the word spread even more. More people started coming. <laughs> <laughs> so once I had Love gone it. down to my base, you know, our battalion at Fort Red Fort Ranka. Yeah. So I went there and I told my CEO. I said, sir, we must organize a medical camp there. He says, Pratap, what are you talking of? It's you know, 18 kilometers in the hill. I said, sir, lady doctors, I want and some medicines you give me. I will organize the rest. So after much persuasion, a month later, two lady doctors, one doctor, and you know, with a mule train, they came up. I so I announced in the local area, you know, there will be a medical camp. All of you are welcome to come. We will give treatment. Lady doctors will also come. And these people, and I said, we will give you free food also. I thought maybe one hundred, hundred and fifty will come. Seven hundred, eight hundred people landed up on my camp. <laughs> They ate up all my rations, and you know, and these lady doctors had come. And night I couldn't keep them because I only had this dirty dog with me. So you know, to go back. treatment. Ha! Huh, by five, it was getting dark and cold, and I had to send these people down. Otherwise, they will die in the cold upstairs. Yeah. So I finally, I had to do a little lati charge to disperse these guys. I said, "Hey, what is saying?" Hey. मैं दोबारा इनको जरूर लेके आऊंगा एंड दे वेंट डाउन एंड या देर वॉज मेजर आफ्टर दैट आई बिकेम द मोस्ट पॉपुलर आई कंडक्टेड थ्री फोर मोर कैंप्स देर एंड यू नो एज अ रिजल्ट पीपल सेड कि दिस डॉक्टर साहब इज देयर सो एनी वन एवरी डे देर वॉज एक रिपोर्ट नाउ नॉट मेडिसिन लेफ्ट बाई दम एवरी डे फोर्टी फिफ्टी पेशेंट शुड कम एंड सिट and treatment whatever any otherwise i'll call on the radio set to the doctor ki such and such is a problem what can i give you either give this so i give that oh my so this went on and then this peer baba was next door to us you know a little distance away so one day the peer baba came to my place he said aap major sahab logon ka bahut bhala karte ho aap dhok mein nahi rahoge hamare peers pe rahoge acha so he shifted my entire uh, you know uh, platoon of 30 people Achha. into his house so he wow. put us up in his house you know Wow. And after that, we were operating from there, you know, patrolling. But you won't believe it. We were there for two years. In my area, 
there was never an incident no incident happened no incident no no militant nobody yeah. i think sir so peer baba had told these guys this area no funny business yeah so yeah bande goc tendi you know landed up there on a helicopter you know and he says sala Uh, all round there is bloody firing and blasting and everything this is the pocket of it it's always clean so i said sir such and such thing happened he said yeah maybe that may be the reason you know the peer baba has very strong hold here and you have I, been doing I, I, good here so nothing is happening yeah so but but then is, yeah you 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 had um, acquired that kind of a, uh, yeah. you know uh, image of yourself and your people yeah. as messias for all this yeah people. yeah oh those people were so you know so much of information was yeah. flowing in and i could write the entire area ka detail and could give it you know but that's another story yeah. so it is yeah. a story of uh, how uh, these young people i mean these old people who have no exposure whatsoever uh, and psychologically it worked on him yeah it's more of a psychological treatment you know because these people have never seen medicines you know these bakarwals so even a small treatment given to them their belief is so much in that person who is sitting in yeah. front of them that this yeah. guy will cure me yeah and they get cured <laughs> with one neuroban injection he got cured yeah his tonsillitis became okay yeah and every day still is to come is to come have a cup of tea with us gossip and go he is how aapne mujhe theek kar diya aap to very 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 yeah so kanal pratap thank you very much this was very <laughs> hilarious interesting <laughs> and uh, you know what great telling effect it had and what great benefits you derived out of that miracle true true very much very much <laughs> thank you very much uh, kanal pratap